Without wasting your time, let's jump into the video. The new preview app in iOS 26 lets you manage documents like never before. As you can see here, I can see the Scan Documents option just above the Recents. If you're showing this in full screen, then swipe it down and tap on Scan Documents. Here's the Shutter option to capture the document automatically once you position it in view. Like this, your iPhone's going to automatically capture the photo. And you'll see a quick preview too. Want to edit the recent scanned page? Tap on the little thumbnail at the bottom left and you'll see options like retouching the border using the crop option. The second one's filters. The third one's for rotating the page. And the last one's delete to remove that page only. Otherwise, if you want to replace that page, just hit the Retake option. Once you've made the changes, go back and scan another page. If you'd rather scan manually instead of automatically, tap on the camera icon and turn off the Auto Shutter option. Now, click the photo manually once you've set the document in the viewfinder and keep it right in the top corner. Here are all three pages showing. Once you're good with them, go back and tap on the blue True button to save in the Preview app. You can rename the document too. Tap the down arrow icon at the top and rename it. My warranty card soft copy is ready to save with a fresh name. To sign and edit a document, tap on the markup icon at the bottom and find the signature option under the plus button. Select signature, resize it and do more. Want to see the page size details? Tap on the little I button at the bottom edge. You'll see PDF size, page size and more. If you want to change the page size to match your print paper, here's what you got to do next. Tap on the Share button at the bottom, right before the Search in Page option. Tap on Print from the Share Sheet, then change the paper size. Here, I'm picking US Legal. Again, tap on the Share button at the top and choose Save to Files from the Share Sheet to save your new paper-sized PDF file to the Files app. Or you can mail it, airdrop it, or share it through other apps. That's all about how to scan a document on your iPhone, edit it, resize the paper, and share it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for new video updates.